There's an interesting one game that I. <coughs> <coughs> feels better that I absolutely sucked with when I was a kid. Defender of the Crown, the first ever game made by Cinemaware and released to pretty much everything that was out during 1986 and a couple of ports later on. It's England during the Middle Ages, you place a Saxon trying to conquer all of England from the Normans and other Saxons and win the Civil War. It's mostly a turn-based strategy, though there are a few action sequences and they are easy as crap. One is when you go looting other castles for gold, and <laughs> check this out, all you need to do is win at this every single time is just stab and walk back. Repeat about 30 times and the gold is yours. The enemy will never be able to overcome this incredibly genius battle tactic. Another action sequence is during the tournament. Randomly some enemy, or you, will invite everyone over for a tournament. Guess when in the middle of a civil war, just chose some shit. This, again, is pathetically easy. Just aim your lance to your enemy's shield, and then beat the hell out of them with a flail. Whee! In tournaments, you can gamble with parts of the land you own, and considering that 99% of times you will win the tournament, this is a great way to gain control of more land. To beat the game, you need to gain control of all the castles, and to do that, all you need is some men and a catapult. First is the siege part. Break their walls with boulders, and then you can reduce the number of soldiers in the castle by throwing Greek fire. <laughs> Pretty sure that's supposed to be English fire. Game, do try to remember where we are. Or a disease. Hmm. Not very specific here. I don't know. Maybe it's AIDS. And then you, um. Uh. Okay, to this day, I have no fucking clue what you're supposed to do here. I mean, the game gives you some orders you can give to your troops. Retreat is obvious, but the other stuff fierce attack, cold ground, outflank, and lastly. Bombardment. Yeah. No idea how any of this affects the battle. Oh well. The side with more soldiers usually wins. Anywho, if the enemy tries to siege your castle, you go to this first person crossbow battle. Once again, it's pretty damn easy. Though how many soldiers you have in the castle determines how many hit points you got. But even if you have like 5, you're still gonna win. Every time. The strategy aspect of the game is mostly how you want to use the money you have, when to go raiding, and what castle to conquer and when. At first you have no idea what to do, but after a little while, you can pretty much go through the game with no trouble whatsoever. One cool thing about the game is its randomness, like what castle you start in, when a tournament is going to be held, and you might even get a chance to save a maiden at some point. Though it's the same thing as raiding a castle, but the reward is way better than gold. Instead, it's some other Saxon's castle, and... Well, hello, my lady. What beautiful pair of... Uh... How did the Brits say it? What do you call them? Jugs. What do you call them? Exactly. One dumb thing about the game is the music. Or should I say, the lack thereof sometimes. Cause when you're in the menu, attacking or defending a castle, there is no music playing. Why? The music gives you that nice, middle-agey feel. Why not use it in places that need it? To sum things up, anytime there is action going on, the game is almost pathetically easy. And the strategy aspects don't take long to learn. I mean, it's perfectly possible to beat the game in about 5 minutes. Though, like I said in the beginning, I sucked playing this game when I was a little kid. Like, there was no tomorrow. Mostly because Little Isle here didn't understand strategy when it didn't involve simply killing every single thing on the screen. Oh, that little dumbass. All in all, this game is not something I really go back to very often, but has its unique charm to it. If you're somebody who digs these kinds of weird, older strategy games, go nuts. I'm Isle, and just be glad I didn't try to do this video with a British accent. Ya bastards. <laughs>